A census is a collection of data from every member of the population. This is different than a sample, which is a subcollection or subgroup from the population. In the United States, we perform a census once every 10 years. You might ask yourself, why do we do that? Doing a census enables us to look at the different needs of the country in terms of roads and social programs and so forth, but that is not the reason that we do the census. Those are things that the census can be used for. The actual reason that we do a census every 10 years is because it is written in the Constitution. Now, the Founding Fathers didn't actually use the word census, but in the Constitution it says that there will be an enumeration of the population every 10 years. The percent of Americans who take part in the census are much higher than you might imagine. For example, in the 2010 census, approximately 99% of Americans were counted in the census. Now you might think, well, that's really good. But if you consider that the population of the United States is approximately 300 million, by not including 1%, we have not included 3 million people. If 3 million people are not included, that means we don't need to build roads for 3 million people or have social programs for 3 million people. Most frequently, people who are not included in the census tend to be lower income people, people who are homeless, people who are in shelters, and so forth. And because our census is therefore incomplete, we get a rather biased view of what the population of the United States is actually like. Every 10 years, a bill is put before Congress to use scientific sampling as a method of determining something about the 1% who were not included in the census. Scientific sampling depends on taking a sample from the population, and in this case, our population would be the population of people who are not in the actual census. So by finding a sample of people not found in the census, we can get a very good determination using scientific sampling of something about those people who are not included, and therefore we can include them by using scientific sampling.